Okay. This video is going to cover Tektronix's A series, and that's 4052A and 4054A computers, and the undocumented graphics calls that I found. And in the description of this video below, there's a link to more information about the actual commands and their parameters. But this video is going to demonstrate those five different graphics commands. The first command we're going to demonstrate is command number one. And so one of the things we notice on this screen is an orange crosshair and green background. So the green is persistent on the phosphor of the tube. The orange is due to, this is a color, 4054A. This is option 31, which had red and green mixed together on the face of the tube. And so at low energy, the red and the green illuminate together and become an orange effect. Higher intensity, the red is short persistence and as soon as the beam is drawn uh, or the, the line or text is drawn, it's green on the screen and that's persistent. Uh, there is no memory, no video memory, as it were. The only thing that is being continuously refreshed are the crosshairs. And so if I use the thumb wheels on this system, then we can move to a point and do what the instructions say. For number one, this is going to draw a line normal to the arc which is a 360 degree arc, a circle, from whatever point we have in the crosshairs. So let's just do an example. We have to press a key in order to finish the command and get the line uh, or the data point entered into the program so it can draw the line. So I press a key and there is the line normal to the circle and I can move anywhere around the circle across the screen and hit a key and get another normal. One of the interesting things about this function is what happens if this point is inside the circle? Let's see. We actually get a normal inside the circle. What happens if and so in the case of this example, anywhere we move around the screen would draw from that point a line perpendicular to the circle. Okay, let's go and look at the next demonstration. This demonstration is number two and it says this is normal to a line and so it says digitize the end of the line kind of like we did before and press a character and we press return to leave this demo for the menu so what we're going to do is we've already got the crosshairs here on the screen if I press a character then we get a once again perpendicular to the first line is our new line and we can go to another spot on the screen the other thing that I didn't mention in this video the computer screen we're looking at the computer was first introduced in 1979 has a 19 inch storage tube a CRT very special that basically has a resolution for these vectors of 4096 by 3072 which is 12 bit accuracy and the thumb wheels have 12 bit accuracy and the lines are they're capable of resolving 
12 bits of information. If I come over here in this demo and have the data point here, what happens when I hit a key? We get a line, normal, and the bottom of it is actually in line with the original line if it was extended. So it doesn't matter whether we're on the left side or the right side or the top or the bottom. It will calculate where the line extended would intercept and it will stop drawing the line that's normal when it would hit that point. Alright, let's continue to the next demo. In this particular case, the demo is says line intersecting a line and it wants us to draw the two endpoints that would define a line and it will mark with an X the intersection. So let's start our line here and let's end it over here. I type the character and I get the line and we do see an X down here that represents the intersection of those two lines. And it was all done in a blink of an eye and for a basic program, which is what this computer runs, uh, it was very, very high performance for the day. Let's draw another line from that point and actually I'm going to draw it into our menu program just to show we could draw the line anywhere. These characters that we see were written to the screen and the computer doesn't know and doesn't care. It can draw on top of them. But what we ended up doing is we have a new intersection for the line we just drew right down here. And similar to the other functions, if we go off past the end of this line in either direction and draw a line, I hit one key and I'm going to draw one out here. What do we think is going to happen? I'll bet you that it extends that line and says this would be the intersection point with that line as though it were drawn longer or extended in that direction. Let's go to demo four. All right, the instructions for arc intersect arc are digitize two points for an arc and then type a character. So let's see if this is one of the points of the arc and this is another point of the arc. There we go. We get an arc and the intersects are marked with X's, a top one and a bottom one. Pretty fancy. We can do another arc, uh, but let's try to get an arc that is completely inside the circle. So I think that's going to be a small arc. There we go. And there is no intersection of the original circle and the new one, so no X is displayed. And the same thing would go for drawing an arc completely outside. No intersection. And we could do another arc here. And so we clearly see the computer is calculated, the intersection, one of the intersections here, 
between the original arc and that last one, and one down here. All right, now let's move to the final demo. A line intersecting the arc. So we have our arc drawn, and it says digitize two points to define the line that either does or doesn't intersect this arc. So I'm going to start here and draw it here. And voila! Upper and lower intersections with the original arc. That's all you'll get with a line in a circle is two. You could get as few if we tried to draw, let's try that, let's try to draw a line that goes right on the edge. Well, it says this line actually, if you zoom in, uh, which we don't have zoom capability in the program, we missed touching the circle. So we'll try again. That one, surely, is going to intersect. But it intersects at two points. So, uh, I think it would be very difficult to get it to intersect at one point. Uh, if we draw the line outside the circle, there's no intersection similar to the other uh, functions is uh, only an intersection would count. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, uh, hit the like button. Thank you.